I know that uh, feet are also really hard to draw, so I'm going to make one uh, suggestion for when you draw feet. When you're drawing feet, you want to kind of draw the gesture of the foot first, and then you can kind of draw along, draw the shape along the gesture of the foot. All right, so it makes it a, a little bit easier than just trying to guess that shape. Um, this foot is excellent. Uh, it looks a little bit small, so to compare the um, the size of the foot, whatever this distance is, is equal to the distance, equal to the size of his forearm. So right now his forearm is a little bit short um, and his feet are a little bit small, so it works out. Um, but if you look at, if you look at the negative space, right, look at the negative space between LeBron's arm here. It's a little bit bigger, right? a little bit bigger than what you've drawn. So what you can do is just make his arm a little bit bigger on this side. And then this distance here should match this distance here. It's a beautiful visual. It definitely sparks my curiosity, um, but there are things that I would fix before submitting it because, you know, it's one thing to show a beautiful idea and a beautiful illustration, which is what I like about this piece. Um, but it's another thing to get things technically right, right? Um, and technically speaking, the cage is a little wonky. What you want to keep in mind is like when you're drawing a cage as your ellipsis, right, gets lower, these curves are going to change. Do you see how it's wider? Like it's a lot more curvy at the bottom and a lot straighter at the top. Yeah, so keep that in mind. When you're drawing these character expressions, make sure that the heads are all the same size, okay? Um, and make sure that, like for example, for this one, right, she's looking up. So you're really gonna see a little bit of the bottom of her chin, you know what I mean? And then for these heads, so structurally, these heads are not your strongest. Um, when you think about the ball and shield, let's draw the ball and shield in here. So generally, like I think your ear is a little low. Your ears should align with the eyes and the nose. So I'd bring it up a little bit more. Um, and then again, the hairline, just if you want that hairline to look more natural, there's a bit of a like a, a little curve in there that you can probably fix you can make that hairline come out a little bit more um, and then the neck the neck is something I wanted to point out because a lot of people have trouble drawing necks from the side the neck isn't really that close to the chin the neck should come out like this and then her her body should actually tilt like that. 